Hello, Internet. Praise be to God, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So, last time we went through Schwank Fortress, got the keys, recruited Koops, and got into Cooktail's Castle. So, we're going to conquer Hooktail's Castle this episode, or at least start to. This is the entrance to Hooktail's Castle. Not bad. There's a garden up ahead. There's a save block here, too, so we'd probably better use it, don't you think? I already did. Let's go through here. Now that is an epic musical intro. So Hooktail Castle, huh? Well, it sure is ominous, that's for sure. This is the Hooktail Castle Garden. Looks like the bridge has been out for a while. Even so, this castle just seems so majestic, you know? It's so big and strange. If we go down here, there's actually some platforms. <laughs> Sorry, Goombella. Use Koops. And we get the HP Plus Badge. Increases maximum HP by 5. So in a way, if you upgrade BP and just equip that badge, because it costs free BP, you essentially just upgraded your HP. But you have more freedom with it. One of the reasons why BP is so great. Also, you can sell the HP Plus Badge for a lot of coins. Like, well over 100. Alright, so if we go up here, paper airplane... We can fly across the broken bridge. What's in here? Oh, that's... That's a pleasant start to the dungeon. A dead Koopa's skeleton. Oop! Hey, I see you. Yeah, you're not getting the jump on me. You gotta wake up pretty early in the morning to get one past old Artie. And here we have a flying Koopa, eh? Time to tattle. That's a P Koopa Paratroopa. Uh, well, um, it's basically a Koopa Troopa with wings. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, and defense is 1. I kinda hate that this guy gets to fly. Of course, you can stomp on him and he'll plunge down and be a plain Koopa Troopa. Yeah, do that and he's ours. Stomp again and to flip him and his arms and legs are useless. Oops, sorry, that's not true. It looks like he can still wiggle them around a bit. <laughs> Nope, Super Guard failed. But Happy Heart seems to be working. Yeah, so he took no damage from those two jumps, but now he's on the ground because I jumped on him twice. <laughs> We've got all Koopas in the audience cheering us on as we're beating up other Koopas. But it's okay, because these Koopas have sunglasses and red shells to signify that they're bad Koopas. Alright. Whoa, hi! I forgot there were two of them. I see you there with your sleepy sheep. You are not putting us to sleep. Oh, I can't get up. Oh, I can't get up. Aw, no happy heart. Get rid of that guy. There is happy heart. I feel like happy heart P might be a better badge. And this, a lot of the badges are, like, X badge P. The P stands for partner, which means it affects your partner, not you. So, like, HP plus P would increase your partner's HP by 5. We'll be seeing those later in the game, trust me. But at the beginning, it's mostly just Mario badges. <laughs> okay! <laughs> I guess I jumped on both of their heads at the same time. Oh, boy, you and your pal block. I do not like that. No one can fly without my permission. Yeah. 
Oh, come on. I thought I got that. Guess not. <laughs> they now all have one HP. This is hilarious. I really want to get rid of that guy from the power block, though. And now I'm going to do something sacrilegious. Hammer the Koopa while he's st uh, he's standing up. That's just enough to kill him. Or I'm sorry. K.O. him. It's not killing. Because they come back. Sleepy Sheep, and we can't carry it. Um, give me a minute on that. Goombella, you can eat the mushroom. I like how you just use the item and like the game pauses so you can quickly grab the item you throw away. I like that. What does this have? <gasps> That's power bounce! Jump on one enemy until you miss an action command. That is very overpowered badge. At least, it can be when you combine it with other badges. It takes three, though. Jeez. I'm not unequipping other badges just to make room for that, because it's not that useful this early in the on in the game. Man, dead Koopas everywhere. Oh. Oh no! These bones, they remind me of my father. There's there's no doubt about it. It's my father. Dad! Um, wait. What's this? Mario, my father's clutching some kind of letter or at least his uh, bones are. So, what should I do? Should I read it? Yes. <laughs> Um, okay, I can do this. Uh, I'll read it. <clears throat> I came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I am stuck and can go no further. So in this letter, I shall note Hooktail's weaknesses for those who follow. The dread Hooktail cannot tolerate creatures that begin with cr and end in Icket. Gee, wonder what they're talking about. Hidden somewhere in this castle is an item related to Hooktail's weakness. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one must first find that item. One last fiend. If faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will use any trick to save itself. If you hope to defeat it, do not give in to your kinder nature and fall for its tricks. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue writing. Already mist veils my eyes. My last words go to my son, Colorado. I love you, and I'm proud of who you've become. Huh? My son, Colorado, not Coops. Oops. Um. Yeah, I guess this isn't my father after all. <laughs> but if this isn't my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. Over there. There's a letter here. Will you read it? Uh, no, no, no. All right. Well, I don't want to have Coops. I want to have Gumbella. Coops' dad? No, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, because we just saw that scene of her. Um, why do you think the bones are that color? That's kind of dark. You clearly don't value your lives much if you come to this castle to disturb us. You will go no farther, and from this moment on, you'll be nothing but bones. Well... This just escalated quickly. What's with these numbskulls? Badoom! Ow! Ow! Watch it, pushy! They're shoving me around, Mario. What should we do? Sure enough, they're pushing me back towards the beginning. Um. Hey guys, uh, you mind? Oh no! <laughs> I forgot they push you out the door. Oh wow! No, they just flat out throw you out of the castle. Please tell me the enemies. The enemies are gonna respawn. Oh, maybe not. Also, the Hooktail Castle music is amazing. What a creepy pile of bones. I mean, they're all creepy, but this one's super creepy. I don't really feel like taking a look at it, but if we don't, we will never get farther. You clearly don't find... Oh. 
<laughs> he says the same thing. <laughs> I'm not doing that voice if I don't have to. It hurts my voice. So what you do, yeah, you hammer him. Move forward a little bit, hammer him, move forward a bit. Get rid of this guy. Oh yes, epic mini boss music. Can't flee this fight. Alright. So we've got dull bones and we've got red bones. Key for an easy version of this fight. Tattle on the red bones, don't bother tattling on the dull bones. The red bones, this is one of the only times in the game you get him, but the dull bones are all over this castle. That's a red bones. A little too red, I think. No fashion sense, you know? Max HP is 5, attack is free, and defense is 1. Unlike your average dull bones, even if you pound it into 0 HP and crumbles, it totally might revive, like a zombie. My advice is to get rid of all the dull bones, and then attack the red bones. Oh, and one more thing. Once its friends start to fall, it may create some more. So yeah, the way Dull Bones works is it has only 1 HP, 1 or 2 attack, and then 1 defense. And you kill it and it's just gone, like the other enemies, but for the Red Bones it'll come back to life. I'm going to swap to Koops because he has more defense and he can make short work of these Dull Bones. Ow. Ouch. Alright. Now, here's what we're going to do. Power Shell time. Koops has the breakdance and moves, and that just takes care of all of the red bones. That also eats up free FP, but that's okay. Now we can do a Power Smash. Oh, he didn't even make a new Dull Bones. How lovely. Get rid of this guy, Koops. Yeah, he just crumbled to the ground, so if we waited a few more turns, he would have come back to life. But because he was the last enemy we beat down, it's good. <laughs> and everybody runs away. You're going to need Koops a lot in this dungeon, because this dungeon actually has a lot of really cool puzzles involving Koops' shell mechanics. Oh, hey, dude. But I like having Goom Actually, I should totally have Koops in battle after this. But I need to tattle on Doldones. Because I like seeing enemy HP. I don't know about you guys. That's a Dull Bones. Sort of a skeleton fiend. It was a Koopa Troopa. Once. Max HP 1, attack 2, defense 1. These creeps throw bones to attack. Oh, and they build reinforcements too. Attacks that can strike multiple Dull Bones at once are the most effective. I forgot these guys can make new enemies as well. Ouch. So yeah, Goombella is going to be useless against these guys because they have one defense and her attacks all, both, uh, all do one damage multiple times. So break out Koops. Remember, changing your partner takes your whole turn. So if you want your partner to do anything, don't have them change. Man, I love all the star points you get, though. And we get a Shine Sprite, a mis po mysterious, powerful object. Collecting these will help. So you, you probably remember, if you watched or uh, my Paper Mario 1 Let's Play, or have played it yourself, the upgrade blocks, where if you hit one, you can just automatically upgrade your partner. Those aren't in this. Instead, there are Shine Sprites, which are lying around in those boxes, like you saw. Collect free Shine Sprites, you can take them back to Rogueport, and uh, Merlin can upgrade your partners for you. First of the puzzles. So we've got these blocks here. So that one doesn't seem to do anything. If we hit the purple one, that block fell down. So these are basically like elevators. You hit the block, and the corresponding block up there will move. So 
So we can use this to jump up here and break that block. And now this yellow block should be able to go upwards. And we can use Koops' power, of course. <laughs> I love the paperness of this game, it's amazing! <laughs> Thank you, Koops, and we get a castle key. Oh, uh, we're gonna need to put this back, <laughs> aren't we? Alright. Here's what I want to do. We can hold Koops' shell in place, jump on this purple platform, and release! We can go up here. Oh, whoops. I screwed that up. But there's something hidden up there anyways, and we want to get that. Herp, derp, skirp! Yep, we get a star piece. There are lots of really well-hidden star pieces in here that are actually in really cool places instead of just behind things. Alright, now we're going to do the same thing, but with the yellow platform. I love these Koops puzzles, and it's amazing that Koops can stay suspended in midair just because we asked him to. Aw, oh, darn it. I actually don't think we can get that yet. I think we have to come back after we get a different partner. But anyways, we got the castle key, we can move forward. never know which bones are going to come to life. Let's continue through this way. We can worry about that giant elevator later. Oh, bobber. Two paratroopers. I wish Koops could become a paratrooper if you outlevel them up. Darn it. That poison mushroom is coming up alarmingly often. That's worrying, to say the least. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Mario's awesome. We know. Let's just end the battle, please. I still don't know how I'm gonna deal with battles, because obviously I shouldn't probably shouldn't show all of them off, but at the same time, it's important for the audience to know my strategies for taking on enemies. I guess I can show off the appeal command on strategies if you hit appeal. Your partner will do, like, a little... Or Mario, I suppose, also can do it. And they'll give you a few star points. Not star points. They'll give you a bit of star power. Star points are experience points. Star power determines your star meter and how many special moves you can do. Alright. Oh, nice badge in there. Hit that switch, and the gate opens, but then closes very quickly. We know what that means. Oh, hey, this looks familiar. What the heck? Hey, guests! It's been a long time since anyone came here. A real long time. Huh? You heard me? Wow! Wait a sec. If you can hear my voice, you must be some legendary hero or something. Or not. To be honest, I'm sure anyone with ears can hear me. But it sure is fun zening people with that whole legendary hero bit. <laughs> Hey, but seriously, folks, I was wondering if you could help let me out of this chest. I've been locked in here so long, I'm starting to cramp up like you wouldn't believe. All of you have to do is find that key and let me out. Easy. Huh? What do you mean? You think you'll be cursed if you open the box? Ridiculous! Who would do that, really? Who I wait in the box and curse, folks? A real slime ball, that's who. But I'm not a real slime ball, and I wouldn't do no such thing. But that should be obvious. Look, if you help me out, maybe I'll help you out. You know, a little I scratch your back, you scratch mine, except in reverse order. Of course, you don't have to if you really don't want to. Like, finding a key is hard. 
Hmm. Well, I must say, I... I did get cursed last time, and it looks like the same box, but then again, the curse turned out to be helpful last time. Maybe it'll turn out to be helpful this time. Well, I don't like the looks of this room. Crack in the wall there, but we can't do anything about that. Yet. Hey, we get the black key. A strange black key, but what could it be for? Uh, I already know. Oh, boy. Um... Mario? Look at that! Oh, I don't like the look of this. Come on, run! Yep, the ceiling is coming down on us. We best run. <laughs> I like how they have the digital timer to be like, you will be killed in exactly this amount of time. And actually, I want to wait a little bit, because <laughs> once it gets down to a certain level, you can start seeing the spikes come down. Oh, hang on. I gotta get Goombella's view on this. What a totally weird room. There's just gotta be something hidden here. Then again, every room in this castle is totally weird. <laughs> Goombella, you have nothing to say about the spikes coming towards us. Tag your it, tag your it, tag your it, tag your it, haha! <laughs> oh, this is great fun! Oh, Mario's a jerk! Oh, we are about to get killed! If you stay in that room until it hits zero, you will get a game over. Whoa! I mean, whoa! That was seriously close! Well, whatever, we got the key, so let's open that weird chest. Hey there! Boy, I am so glad you found that key! Unbelievable! wee hee 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 Fools! Why only the most idiotic pudding brain dog would fall for a scheme like that? The castle's traps prevent anyone who's entered this place from ever leaving it. No matter which path you take, you're fated to waste away to a slow, painful end. But wait, there's more to this great deal. I'll throw in a free curse. No charge. Oogly boogly boo. Wee hee 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 Now you're cursed, doofus, and it serves you right. This curse is more cursedly curse-worthy than any other curse you've ever cursed you. First, this curse makes you like a piece of paper when you press and hold R. Wee hee 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 What a curse! Who curses like me? No one. Now I shall show you just how frightful a curse it is. Go on, press and hold R. Press and hold R now! <laughs> Just look at yourself. How embarrassing for you. Eat a sandwich, skinny. <laughs> Do you understand what this curse means for you? Yes. Then farewell, you dumbbells. <laughs> well, free new ability, so I'm cool with that. And I love these guys. So yep, now we can turn really thin and actually go for these bars. Pretty cool. No invisible block? Okay. But anyways, now that we're skinny, we can go through in this cell. And we get the Attack FX R badge. Change the sound effect of Mario's attacks. You remember these from the first game, right? They cost zero BP. If we equip it... That sounds like a cricket to me. Of course, the sound is very annoying, so I'm going to turn it off. But that should come in handy against Hooktail. Alright, we still have a bit of time, so I will continue on. There's nothing beneath this platform, in case you were wondering. Oh, that's a badge. Unfortunately, we can't do anything to get it. And we don't have a key. Lovely. Yeah, as you can see, nothing under there. But now that we have our new turn sideways ability, there must be something we can make, uh, go back and use it for. Hmm, we got some bars here. Aha! No horizontal bars in the lower part of this one. Nothing back there. Always check. It's always good to check. And we get the castle key. Sweet. I love all the just the subtle 
paper aspects of this game, more so than the first one. It's really cool. Like turning sideways. So simple, so elegant, and so useful. Of course, Super Paper Mario kind of went and ruined that, but... I will not get into poli the politics of Super Paper Mario. That was close, Koops. What am I doing? I don't need to go up there. Koops is a useful partner for puzzle solving, but not a whole lot for battle. He loses his usefulness after this world pretty much entirely. Kinda like Cooper! <laughs> More fun with paper. I love it. Alright. Nothing there. But we have an open window here. We can jump out into the background. And of course, always head the wrong way. You get free stuff. <laughs> Mario's like, hey, look at me! I'm in the game! <laughs> Thank you so much for playing my game! Alright. Hooktail's Castle is just an amazing first dungeon. Oh, hi! Um, Mario, that was the wrong way, but, you know, it's, it's fine. There's only two of them. Do, 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 do. It's nice to get rid of the enemies just so if you ever have to backtrack to the rooms, you don't have to worry about them. Okay, I gotta check something. I am full on items. Okay. There's a really good item uh, uh, right up here if we look to the left side. Oh, maybe not. There's a life stream on that platform over there. It's That's a really good item. It revives you when your HP reaches zero. I'm not actually going to get that yet, uh, on this playthrough. Or, I, I will get this on this playthrough, but not on this visit to Hooktail's Castle, because we will have to come back to Hooktail's Castle a couple times for some side quests. And that fire flower terrifies me in the hands of an enemy. do 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 Oh, well, I get a fire flower. Okay. Um, hold that thought. I'm just going for mushrooms. Like, yeah, I need a bit of HP. I should probably use more items, but the problem is the enemies are so easy. All right. I want to have Goombella as my partner for this room. It's funny. Huh? Oh my! Who's this handsome piece of cheese? I can't believe there are other thieves here besides me. How very strange. Who, who are you? Me? Why, I'm Miss Mouse, the globe-trotting thief. Heard of me, sweetie? I heard there were rare and valuable badges in this castle. That's why I'm here. But the real question is, why are people like you roaming in such a rundown place? I'll tell you why, Miss Ugly Pink Shoe Whatever Thief. We're here to beat Hooktail. And just so we're clear on this, we've got to set our sights on the Crystal Star before you, okay? Crystal Star, you say? <laughs> I didn't know a thing like that was hidden in this castle. Sounds intriguing. Perhaps I just heard something you didn't want me hearing. <laughs> Shoot! Oh, but that's okay. I mean, you were looking for this Crystal Star first. And I already found the badge I was after, so I'll let you get your Crystal Star. Let us? Let us? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> it means I must say bye bye for now, Mr. Cutie. I know, it's sad. We just met and it's already time to say farewell. Alas. Hey, hey you little flirt! Who do you think you are kissing Mario? Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little secret to share with you. Somewhere in this castle is a badge that'll help you best hook tail, or so I've heard. I don't know what kind of badge it is. Maybe you found it already? Maybe not. 
If you're going to fight Hooktail, I'd recommend finding that badge first. Well, take care, handsome mustache man. Let's get together again real soon. What is with that girl? What a flirt! Who acts so disgusting like that? <laughs> Jealous much, Goombella? <laughs> this is Hooktail's treasure room. Miss Mouse was looking for something here, but I don't think any there's anything left. Oh, look, a mushroom. Um, hmm. You know, I kind of do want some health fulfilling items for the Hooktail fight. I will get rid of my end coupon. Castle key. Shine sprite. And what's this? Honey syrup, that's good. I will get rid of one of my sleepy sheeps. Oh, I thought Kumbella said something funny here about Miss Mouse taking the train to Fuzyville or something. Guess not. Alright. I think that is all the time we have for this episode, and... Wait, there's no safe walk in here. Oh. Well, I think we gotta backtrack for that safe walk. Any case, that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you very, very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Hope to see you for the next episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. We should hopefully finish up Hooktail's castle and defeat Hooktail. That might be a slightly longer than average episode. Probably a little more than a half hour, but that's okay. People like long episodes, don't they? Anyhow, have a great day, and God bless.